All right, guys, we're here at Walgreens 4th Street and the Boulevard in Ukaipa. We've got AMR. The Ukaipa police have parked up here. I don't know if they went in or not. We'll go find out. It's going to be 553. And then, you know, he's still in the car. No, he's not. Let's find out what unit this is. 14 Sam 1. So it's a sergeant. So there's the fire department. I don't know which sergeant is on tonight. We'll find out. But I'm not for up for any type of conversation tonight. I'm just not. But 553 is here. They're leaving. I got to remember to unplug my mic too when the cops talk to me. So that you all can hear what they're saying. This is when I keep my mic plugged in. Oh, that was beautiful, wasn't it? When I keep my mic plugged in. You can only hear me talking. <coughs> so I unplugged the mic and then you can hear everything. I'm not sure what happened. The ambulance coming out with an empty stretcher. There goes 553. Five, five, Sam 1 is inside. So there's AMR. A stretcher full of bags and stuff. Medical kit. And oh. The sergeant's coming out with somebody. So I don't know if he's gonna, he's running him, I think. So we're gonna come over here on this side. <laughs> So I don't know if it's a mutual conversation. Nope, it's not mutual. He's gonna go through his bags. <coughs> so it's not very mutual. He isn't handcuffed when he came out though, but. So he's making him, he's gonna do a Terry Frisk. Over here, so we can see. So the sergeant's. This looks like a new sergeant. I haven't seen him before. So we're gonna have to break him in, put him on YouTube. But I haven't seen him before. Um, did a Terry first night. He's going through his bag. And um, it's weird because he's not making him keep his hands on the hood, and this guy's not too concerned about his stuff being going through. I think he ran his ID.
I do have my camera working again, but the phone has higher quality video, so that's why I'm using it right at the moment. But uh, they updated the software for my camera so that I can now um, upload videos again from my camera over my phone. That's for zooming in on stuff, which I should have my camera now, but I don't. Um, <clears throat> But this is 1080p where the camera is only 720p. So I'm not sure why the um, Medic Engine And the, uh, I was trying to remember, <coughs> it's 353. Why the medic engine and the AMR were called out here, I'm not sure. <coughs> what the medical reason was. <coughs> but um, as you see, the Yukaipa PD showed up as well. Now, for those who don't know, some people, I've gotten a couple of people... Who asked about it? But when I say Yukaipa PD, it's a police department because they serve just the city of Yukaipa. However, it's a contract with the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department. So, um, the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department. Um, post deputies in the substation here known as Yukaipa Police Department. But it's really a contracted substation of the San Bernardino mm -hmm. County Sheriff's Department. So that's how they do it here. Highland's got one. Rancho Cucamonga has one. Um, I think Fontana is a substation as well. Um, of course, San Bernardino County uh, the one in the central one in San Bernardino is for county Musqua area. Then you have Apple Valley, uh, Victor Valley substation, which is Apple Valley, Hesperia, and Victorville. Uh, <clears throat> those are the substations for the uh, sheriff's departments, police departments. <clears throat> so he's pulling everything out of his bag now he's going to place him under arrest or at least handcuff him for detainment <clears throat> Hey, guys being pretty cooperative. <sighs> so that's a good thing. <clears throat> So, oh. So these cars took off <clears throat> that allow us to come up here now. It's the only reason I was standing down there to be out of their way because I knew one of them was going to back up.
So this guy probably will get arrested. Which means this sergeant will have to drive out to CDC unless he asks a regular patrol unit to come in and um, a P unit to come in and transport. So unless a P unit transports, he's going to have to, he's a SAM-1 unit. He's going to have to take him over to Central Detention Center in San Bernardino. Where he'll be booked and fingerprinted. He took his shoes off. Search his shoes, make sure he's got no dope in his feet, uh, his shoes. What's that guy doing? Told him to sit right there <coughs> so he can pack up all his gear. Notice I haven't said a word yet, so. Um, but uh, me and my wife, we shop at this Walgreens all the time. This is uh, a place to come to get all your makeup stuff. She gets her makeup stuff here, chapstick. And uh, you can also get a lot of uh, health stuff in there. If you get tattoos, get your Aqua 4 from right here. It's really good. <clears throat> so it'll protect your arm and your ink <clears throat> or leg or whatever you get your tattoos on. So we're going to make sure he gets all of his stuff. <coughs> she probably will, but... Um, <coughs> I'm just moving around a little bit because there's headlights running all through the parking lot here. I'm trying to stay out of everybody's way. But, uh, he's packing up all his stuff back into the backpack, socks, and he had a pair of socks in there. And it was weird because when they came out of Walgreens over here, um, he was just walking and drinking water like nothing. Like, yeah, I'm heading over to the car. And then all of a sudden, bam, he got arrested. But it was kind of a weird uh, <clears throat> search. Maybe not so weird, but just different from what i've seen this sergeant is really comfortable uh with the guy he wasn't didn't keep his hands on the hood like he turned his back and leaned against the car with his arms crossed uh, you know he's just kind of walking around when they came out walking over normally they'll uh, handcuff him right away or he'll make they'll make him keep their hands on the hood at all times like don't move your hands off that hood you know so to speak um but this sergeant's very uh comfortable with just being normal you know what i mean not being so uh stringent <clears throat> and being so uh <coughs> demanding i guess i don't know lack of any other word but Yes, I'm saying he was just really comfortable with uh, just kind of doing his thing with this guy. <clears throat> so we're going to come up here. So we got a lot of cars coming through here. Trying to stay out of everybody's way. 
<clears throat> so he's putting his stuff in the front here. Now, did he get all the guy's stuff? I think he got all the guy's stuff. So he's going to go ahead and load up and take off. But I'm surprised he hasn't told me to move back yet. And I'm not really that close. I'm kind of, I mean, I'm in a whole parking spot away. It's just I'm trying to stand in a spot where when there's headlights and stuff, I can move around without getting in anybody's way that's trying to drive through here. <clears throat> At the same time, capture the footage. Um, look at this. Jay walking like a mofo. <laughs> Jaywalking, leaving the bar and jaywalking. I love it. Oh, well. You got to love it, man. Oh, they're going to the car here. So he just got in the car, didn't he? When I was looking over at them. But, uh, yeah, he's in the car now. So we'll go over here. <coughs> so he just jumped in the car. So I, I guess he's going to go ahead and transport. He's going to take the guy to Central Detention Center in San Bernardino. I thought he was going to call for a patrol unit, a P unit, to come out and get him. Maybe he will. I don't know. We'll see. Um, everybody seems to be pretty cool about it, though, right now. But he's going to do his paperwork. I'm going to stay just in case. I don't know. You, know, you never know. He might let the guy go. Um, he might have a P unit show up and they'll transfer the guy from car to car. Because I'm sure this, I don't know if the SAM unit can, I guess he can transport. I don't see why not. I hope you guys can't hear me coughing my lungs up. And it's the cold weather is what's making me cough. Because there is a chill on the air. Oh, man, my bicep is killing me. That's what happens when you tear your rotator cuff. It actually hurts down into your bicep sometimes. Well, especially when I hold my shoulder up like I'm holding it now with this camera uh, or this phone. <clears throat> Is he on the phone? If he's on the phone, he must be talking to the lieutenant. Yeah, he's on the phone. So he must be talking to the lieutenant, right? Or is there a watch commander that he's maybe talking to? Because... Uh, <laughs> Sam unit's not always a watch commander. Sometimes they'll have uh, a couple of sergeants on duty. One will be out in the uh, out in the patrol, and one will be back at the station as watch commander. I've actually seen more than one sergeant on duty. Uh, but again, I don't want to take off yet if I don't have to. Because I want to see what's going on here, here first. 
I take off and then a unit comes up and they go to transport him and or even let him go I'll try to switch Mike my hand hold on Pulled it off. I had to switch hands on my camera because my shoulder's killing me, man. On this left, or my left shoulder, yeah, it's killing me. I think he's going to take off. He got out to look on the hood to see if there's anything left. So there he goes. So if they are going to have a unit to come out transport, they might take him to the jail, or not jail, but the station. <clears throat> and, uh, transport him from the station. The light's green, you lucky dog. That means you get to take off. Oh, my right shoulder hurts worse than my left with my uh, tour rotators.